What's up guys? All right, I'm trying something new. So I <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this. I already watched the first episode of Dragon Ball. I've never seen Dragon Ball, ever. I've never seen a single episode of a Dragon Ball anywhere. The only thing I know about Dragon Ball is that there's a guy named Goku. That's all I know about it. So I watched the first episode. And while I was watching the first episode, I had some audio issues. So I went to go fix the audio issues. Short story short, I did not start the recording again. And I did not record the rest of my response a reaction and all the many brilliant comments I had to say about the first Dragon Ball episode. So those are lost to the ether, never to be found again. And I had to I have to rewatch the first episode because it was probably I'm not being I'm not exaggerating here. It was probably the most fun and enjoyment I've ever had watching the first episode of any show. So I'm really mad that I lost it, that it's just gone now. But okay, I'm gonna try to give my thoughts going through it. Let me know if this is worth doing at all. I mean, the whole point, the only reason I wanted to have a channel and talk about any of this kind of stuff was because I wanted to elevate the discussion about how storytelling works and filmmaking in general and just get to talk to people about more kind of esoteric secret things when it comes to filmmaking. So that that was the whole point. And if it's not worth it to do it this way, then, you know, I won't do it this way. But I just, I thoroughly enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed. So we'll just get into it. We'll get Get into it. All right. See, now I already know that those are Dragon Balls because I saw this first episode. <laughs> I already love this again. Oh my god! Just the music and the animation. And I watched. When did I watch? I watched it like a week ago, so I shouldn't have. And I don't know anything else about it, so I shouldn't have too much of a rigid memory about what happened in this thing. Oh yeah, there's like a pig guy. I have no idea who that is. I don't know who that is, or the cat person. Old guy with a turtle shell, no idea. But that's Goku. I know that much. We got that down. I took notes. I haven't read a single subtitle yet, so that's a good start. Opening! And I did throw a bit of a fit about the voiceover when I originally watched this, but then I realized that it, it's bookended with voiceover, and it adds to the atmosphere specifically. Because they, they repeat this theme multiple times, where it's like, okay, we're going on an adventure, it's about the adventure, and so the whole point is supposed to be around that, that feeling of this is an adventure story. He's got a buster sword. Did you guys see that? He's got the buster sword. That is so dangerous. <laughs> they have to do the ridiculous anime thing. He doesn't just punch it to break it apart, but it has to land perfectly, too. Introduced to a second character. Okay. She has her own interests apart from the protagonist. When I first watched this, for some reason, I did not get that he was talking to the Dragon Ball. I thought his grandpa was, like, behind it. That's already a quality setup, just having... Like, he's alone, and he talks to the Dragon Ball, and... He's just out doing his routine things for the day. It's settle- it's a settle in. You're just settling in to what this kid's life looks like. Now he's advertising tech companies. Yes, Apple. Apple a day. <laughs> Look, that's great. It's a conflict, an inadvertent conflict. Because of the carelessness of the, <laughs> of the protagonist. <laughs> the Wily e. Coyote moment. <laughs> Alright, I've forgotten most of this already, so that's good. And bam, protagonist isn't perfect. He doesn't just nail everything. So, excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I didn't expect that. I definitely did not expect that when I first saw this television show. It shows his bits. It shows it. Even Japanese porn doesn't show it. And that's amazing. <laughs> Giant fish. <laughs> She is in the turbo, so this makes sense as a plot point. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I 
and she just shoots him. She just shoots him. I feel like that was excessive. Like, she would not get off on that one. That was excessive force she was using for self-defense. <laughs> I love that he hasn't seen a car. It's like the village. I didn't love the village, but... And again, still love. She has her own interests. She's not just like an ornament to the protagonist. Or just completely aligned with the protagonist. <laughs> Fish guy, okay. And you've got other people interested. Obviously these seem like, oh, dog guy and a random young girl. But they have their own interests. They seem like... <laughs> They seem like the would-be antagonists. But they already have more personality than your average antagonist. And how do they manage that? Just by, well, first, that one's a dog, one's a fish, and one's a random young girl. But also that he was a little scared, and he doesn't seem so sure of himself right now. Seven of them. See, and that's great, too. There are... It's not just the protagonist has MacGuffin Ball, and that's, that's the only one that exists in the world. There are seven of them, so there's a lot more going on with that. I love that, because it could be something dire that she has to do this or bring this person back to life or something, but she just wants a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so great for the tone, to make sure the tone is the right... Whoa! Hello! It's great. There's a conflict between them. That's great. She's a reckless driver. <laughs> On second watch, the action beats are unnecessary. <laughs> like they just feel unnecessary. I just want. I just look forward to the character stuff between Goku and what's Bulma. So there's definitely, there's a willingness when it comes to the tone of the show, there's a willingness to go that direction. Which gives it an extra, especially for the time I'm sure, it gives it extra dimension or it makes it fun and you don't have to worry about taking things too seriously. And they've already managed to carve out some characters that have personalities it's quality stuff it's quality i don't know how it goes like i said this is the first episode i've ever seen any dragon ball anything i have no idea who these people are who's blue haired chick oh is that the turtle back guy who's the little guy was that charlie brown who's this isn't she in pokemon it's riding a cloud and there's the pig guy i'll give your pounding heart a glittery shining dream is that what that says all right, that's episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know when the next one's coming out or when other videos are coming out or whatever, but it was a good time. It was a good time. All right, bye.